hello hello warm welcome back to the channel yaje here excited as always to be sharing another gardening video with you thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video is about summertime growth and harvests Now we are going to harvest some peppers, habaneros, jalapenos, and some bell peppers. So yeah, I do grow a lot of peppers even though they have not been as productive as in the past years. I use it to spice up my food because I do like spicy food. I'm going to put a link in the description in case you're looking for some of these exotic peppers. I absolutely love growing okras. The only challenge with okras is keeping up with harvesting. You have to harvest almost every day, otherwise the okra gets too tough for consumption. I have been saving them in the freezer. I cut them up, I freeze them, put them in Ziploc bags, and then they can last several months. I have several species from the amaranth family growing in the garden, Lagos spinach and the other type of amaranth. And yes, you can use amaranth raw in things like salads. You can wilt the amaranth for wilted greens and then also make what we call soups out of these vegetables. They are alternatives to regular spinach. So I'm going to encourage you to grow them. Oh my God, tribe, the Egusi melon. I was so lucky with the Egusi melon this year. From that one tiny seed you saw in there, I now have maybe 12 of these melons in the garden. I am so, so, so super excited and can't wait to tell you more about my Egusi melon. Water leaves are so beautiful, so easy to grow. All you need is good sunlight and water and your water leaves will thrive. And my favorite of them all, the fluted pumpkin or ugu or okongobong. These have been a challenge, but I can safely say that I am beginning to master cultivating ugu out here in the diaspora. I have been harvesting a lot of the ugu and I am still hoping to get some pots and then some seeds out of this. Fingers crossed, guys. Please, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Oh. Please, 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 I beg, I beg, oh, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. And here comes my sweet potatoes. I am so excited for the sweet potatoes. It's my first time growing sweet potatoes in my garden. I have my fingers crossed, hoping for a good harvest. And the bitter leaf. The bitter leaf is an exotic tropical vegetable and yes it tastes bitter but before we consume the bitter leaf we often massage it and wash it and rinse it several times to take out some of the bitter and then we cook it in a way that would minimize the bitter taste. It has a lot of medicinal benefits as well as nutritional benefits. They are so easy to grow, they don't get attacked by pests and disease easily. And uh, this is the Jaman Jama or Garden Huckleberry. I had to harvest it and then get rid of it because it was no longer doing very well. But I will grow the Jaman Jama again in September for the fall garden. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so very much for watching. Kindly consider giving the video a thumbs up, subscribe and share, drop a comment and I will see you in my next one.